Hey everybody, this is Darren from General Devices. And today I wanna to show you guys how easy it is to use our eBridge solution to send an alert such as a code OB from someplace like the emergency department up to the labor and delivery floor. So as you guys can see on my screen, I have two different applications of eBridge run, uh, running. Uh, one of those being on my iPad and the other being on a desktop computer. Uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually send it from a computer. So let's say you're at the front desk and someone presents that's you know 30 weeks pregnant or they meet certain criteria for a code OB, such as having high blood pressure um, or some pre-existing conditions where they need to be evaluated and you need to get those specialty resources down to your emergency department. We can simply create a button uh, for you guys in the emergency room in your configuration. We can also have eBridge running at a unit secretary's desk, or in this case, maybe an iPad that they have up there at the nurse's station to kind of have that bridge of communication between the two areas and give them mobility at the same time. Um, so I click on my message here and let me just move that out of the way. And as you can see, I actually have some uh, predetermined locations of where this is gonna go. Um, and in this case, I didn't do the best job of preparing this. Uh, so I wanna remove those and I just wanna send this uh, to my iPad. I can have this pre-configured. The great thing about this is this button can be set up so that the contacts that I want uh, to receive this are already pre-selected. So you have to do no thought whatsoever other than hit the button. Um, as you can see, I have some basic information included in this. We could even build a form if you guys wanted to, uh, a specific form that could be loaded in there with required fields that need to be filled out. Um, if I were using a device that had a, uh, a camera or a, uh, a microphone, I could even record an audio, uh, take a video recording or even live stream up to them and have a face-to-face -face conversation with them to let them know. Uh, but in this case, we're just gonna be doing kind of a fire and forget, almost like you're sending a text message uh, up to the OB unit to let them know that you have a patient. We'll just enter in some basic information. Let's say it's a, uh, well, 30-year-old, uh, um, and they're uh, para one, gravity two, they're 30 weeks along, and their doctor is uh, Dr. Smith. Um, so just making up some general stuff off the top of my head, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the send button on that, and we're gonna watch as that immediately comes through on the iPad here, and we're gonna open that message up, and we're gonna be able to see the acknowledge button has now been acknowledged, which lets us know down here in the ER that boom, that it was delivered, opened, and timestamped when I actually hit that acknowledge button, which is a really nice feature for the person sending it so they know that they actually got the code, the code OB um, that is down in the ER. And we can make these specific to wherever you are in the hospital. And as you can see, the information I entered in there is readily available. Uh, so that's as simple as it can be. Uh, very, very easy. If there were any follow-ups that, you know, follow-up question, Again, they have the ability up here, if you wanted to do a live streaming call, you can just click on that little button there or just re uh, simply reply, you know, and say, um, we'll just say you're on the way. And they could do a request and send that. And so now they've sent a message back to let me know that they're on the way. Really simple, simple communications, general devices, eBridge. Uh, give us a call. We'll set up a demo and show you how we can help you guys.